Hey filmmakers from here, in this video we're going to teach you how to do a lens flare review or a lens flare text review and this is a quite simple method however I also do a special one that is with my anamorphic lens flare preset. So first we're going to type in a new text, we're going to either hit T on our keyboard or press this T icon or get the access of this text tool or type tool and we're going to press here on this screen area and it will generate a red text box. We're going to type in a text that you want to review personally because this is going to be the promotion video or a video uh, talking about lens flare. We're just going to type in lens flare and we're going to move this to the center and we're going to add a lens flare. So also move this to the front. So we're adding a lens flare here. However, we're not directly dropping the effect onto the text because that won't work. We need to make a black video. We can make that by pressing here on this icon and then press black video. However, because I already made one, we're going to drag this over top. And now go into effects. We're going to type in lens flare or lens. And we see here lens flare. Going to drop this over here. Now we can see a nice lens flare. However, we don't see the text underneath. So we go to effects control and we're now going to change this at opacity, change the blending mode to screen. So now we can see the text that's underneath and we are going to change the positioning of the lens flare. Also inside the lens flare we can choose between three kinds of lens flare. So the 50 to 300 millimeter zoom, the 35 millimeter and the 105 millimeter. It depends on your preferences which one you like the most. Also another thing with the lens flare, it looks slightly too sharp in my eyes. So we're going to drop in a blur. So we can choose between all kinds of blur. So we have channel blur, compound blur, directional blur, Gaussian blur, and we're just going to choose Gaussian blur. And we're going to add a little bit of blur to it. So it's more correctly because most of the time you're not going to be focused inside of the lens. So the correct way to actually see a lens flare is that it's actually out of focus. So we're going to change this lens flare to move and also reveal the text. So we're going to select the lens flare here and this lens flare center is this point. So we can actually manually just move it like this. So we want it to actually move from left to right. So we're going to move it over here. So before the text starts, so we don't want to be directly onto the text already. We want it to start moving before the text and also ending after it. So we now moved it into place here just manually. Can also change the brightness of this lens flare, but we don't want it to be overly bright. So 100 is actually okay for this because this text isn't that big. So we're going to now add a keyframe. So we're going to hit toggle animation to add a keyframe here. So this is the starting point. Now we're going to move the timeline a little bit further and we can change this. So dragging this goes to left and right and dragging this side, we're going to go up and down. So we only want it going left and right. So we're going to drag this to the left side. Somewhere here is okay. So when we are going to drag this to the end or actually let's put this at 25 frames. So we'll hold, move the timeline to the front and now hold down shift and arrow five times to the right because every jump is five frames. So one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to put this here. So that'd be a one second move. 
and that looks a little bit too fast so we want to actually make it even slower maybe two seconds so uh, instead of five times we're going to move it ten times so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten this should make it much slower and that is fine and also what we want to do is that the lens flare actually um, appears instead of being already there but also disappears so we're going to also change the brightness of the lens flare so we want it to be at 100% when it touches the lens so we're going to look at the movement here drag the timeline so that it's over the first letter and now we're going to hit the toggle animation of the lens layer brightness to add a keyframe here and now move to the end where it touches the last part of the last letter so that's at the E at the end of the E and we're going to hit this to add another keyframe now we're going to the last or actually go to the first and we're going to drop this to zero now it disappears and appears and now we go to the last keyframe by pressing on this arrow and it goes to the last keyframe and here also we change this to zero and we can also add an ease in by right mouse click ease in and also here at the start add maybe an ease in there okay so we have that so now we have the lens flare appearing and disappearing and now we can animate the lens flare the word lens flare to appear and disappear to do that we're going to use a crop effect just type in crop here drag this onto the lens flare text and now we can easily just use the right side crop to move it so that's a easy way and just going to the end here of the E. So we're going to press the black video and we're going to the lens brightness and we're going to move by pressing these arrows to move to this point, this keyframe. And now go to lens flare and we're going to add toggle animation at the right side to add a keyframe here. And now we're going to move to the other keyframe. So we're going to press this arrow to go to that keyframe where the lens flash should or the text should start coming in. And now we're going to drag this so it actually covers the L and actually removes the L. And we are now going to look and it actually is finished. So we can see this nice lens flare text review. Let's move this actually a little bit further. So we have actually a dark feed, black video first and then the text review. So this is a nice simple text review. This is a nice simple method to show your text and it also looks pretty cool. However, uh, you do want to keep the text quite thin. You don't want to have like really big letters for this but also uh, if you have multiple lines of text you want to do it for every line instead of uh, trying to go about with just one lens flare to show like multiple lines of text so because the main thing is that if you do it with multiple line of text you need to increase the brightness of the lens flare and if it gets too bright it actually looks really bad uh, the lens flare itself will start to look really weird so personally advice to just keep your text small and that will make it much better so now the next one to show you one with uh, a different lens flare pretty much everything is the same uh, however the lens flare would be just different so we're actually going to drag this lens flare 
text and copy it over here. And pretty much it still keeps everything the same with the text with this keyframe. However, we're going to drag a new black video over top. And actually, we're going to drag two of them. Both of them also, we're going to change the blending mode at opacity to screen. And this one also to screen. And now we're going to the FX and we're going to use my lens flare. So if you haven't downloaded my lens flare preset yet, there's a link in the description below where you can find it. If you have downloaded it, come back here and I'll show you how to make a text review with that preset. So inside of the preset folder, you will find CD anamorphic flare and there be two presets, the lens flare and the light streak. So first we're going to drag the lens flare on this bottom one. And now we can see it and also we can see that it's already pre-animated. We're going to actually remove these keyframes from here. And we're going to delete it here and delete this here. And we're going to go to this start here. Actually, maybe make it easier for us also to remove these keyframes over here because it might just make it a little bit harder for us. So we're basically doing the same thing as before. We're going to go to lens flare center and we're going to move this center to here before the text starts. And we're going to move a little bit further and drag this to where we want it to end. So after the lens flare, you can see now the lens flare moving from one side to the other side. And let's make this also 10 frames or uh, 50 frames for two seconds. So hold on, shift one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're quite close actually there. And can now see the lens flare moving. So basically the same thing. We're going to drag the timeline when we see it hit the first letter. We're going to put a keyframe there. So I think here should be probably right. We now press toggle animation at the lens flare brightness and that will add a keyframe here. Now drag the timeline till it hits the end of the E or the last letter at the end of the last letter. There should be okay. We're going to hit this button to add another keyframe. Now go to the end, press zero. And here is in. And here zero. And actually this is out. So we have this lens flare animation now. And now we're going to add the light streak preset to the top black video. You will see the light streak moving in the not correct way. We're going to go to that black video and also remove these keyframes. Press OK. So now we have removed those keyframes. Uh, you can see the light streak is not moving. We need to make it move at the same speed and the same way as the lens flare. To do that, we can go to the lens flare black video. We can go to lens flare center. We can copy these numbers. So we can see here uh, 70, 75.4 and 708.9. We can actually change these here to make these numbers a little bit nicer instead of having them point something. So we can attune affect the effect as much and also go to last keyframe and change this to slightly nicer numbers instead and 
basically we're going to copy these numbers over so go to the first keyframe so it's 70 75 709 go to the top one 70 75 709 add a keyframe here go to the next one now we go to the last keyframe here by pressing this arrow and this is 1726 709 so here 1726 it's already 709 already and it should now follow the lens flare moving left and right but it doesn't disappear so we want to also do the same thing over here follow these keyframes so over here this keyframe and now we're going to opacity here and we're going to hit toggle animation to add a keyframe and just follow these keyframes so this one to the next one press here to add a keyframe to the next and now we're going to make this a zero for it to disappear and to the first keyframe here also zero for it to disappear now when we play it you can see the streak disappearing also so now we just need to add the crop effect like before so the text would appear so type in here crop Drag this onto the text. Now add the crop here and move this, of course, to the end. Or I'm going to just use these keyframes here. So to the last E here. We're going to move this right percentage here so that the E just appears. So it's at 36 here. I'm going to add a keyframe by hitting toggle animation here. Now hit the black video on top and we're going to move to this keyframe by pressing this arrow over here. And go back to lens layer again. And now we're going to move this percentage so we are just covering the L and or the entire words disappear. And now when we play it, we should see a nice lens flare showing the text. So this lens flare is different. It's a more anamorphic like lens flare with these more horizontal bokeh and also the streaks coming in. So that was mainly it, the lens flare text review. Hopefully you guys like this video and please give me a thumbs up. If you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button here below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.